Hey there, what's happening? This is Eric and Victoria. And we are coming at you live from our home office in beautiful Marietta, Georgia. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hoping everybody's having a great Friday night. The weekend has begun. Yes, yes. And we wanted to take a few moments to cover this uh, topic. Uh, we've been discussing the seven habits of highly effective people by uh, Stephen Covey, uh, who was uh, just a thought leader back in the 80s and the 90s and Biggest in the time. area of business. Business. And, um, you know, these are principles that can be applied to any type of business, really, but we are especially focused on helping network marketers to take their business online. And right. so we're trying to leverage the, 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 the expertise out there and utilize whatever we can to make that process more effective for take that pain entrepreneurs. Away. Absolutely. Take that pain away. And so we're going to get right into this. Um, the seven habits of highly effective people. We've been going through these seven habits and now we're down to habit number two. And just to quickly That's review, the habits are first, be product, be proactive. Second, begin with the end in mind. Yep. Third, first things first. Fourth, think win-win. Uh, five, seek first to understand and then be understood. Uh, six, synergize. And seven, sharpen your saw. Sharpen. So this evening, we're going to talk about the second habit, begin with the end in mind. Now, you know, you look at some of the great corporations in mm -hmm. the world, some of the names that we all know, like General Electric. It's a lot of them. All of these yeah. companies out there that they... they the, the the founding the founders of those companies they had a tremendous vision of how that company was going to operate and they had a vision that encompassed all of the different operating elements of that company and so when you're looking at your business it's very important to look to begin with the end in mind not to just deal with a small picture but look at the big picture over how your business is going to grow and that means you can't just focus on the part that's easy which is easy to do right yeah that's <laughs> easy to hide from the hard stuff and want to do with the little easy stuff just focus on the part that yeah. you enjoy that is so easy to do but it's very it's human nature. very very yes yeah, human, human nature. nature but it is uh, very very dangerous um, the other thing is when you're focusing um, beginning with the end in mind you have to look at yourself and what you are really trying to accomplish and you can take this statement literally and I'm gonna get a little deep here because uh, Stephen Covey what one of the examples he uses as literally looking at the beginning beginning with the end in mind and he said, imagine, and a lot of people use this imagery now because he, ma he made it popular. But at a, at a person's funeral, imagine what you would want the people who are most important in your life to say about you and what you accomplished in your life. You know, that gets down to the things that are really, really important to you. You see, a lot of people spend their time trying to create successes that aren't really important to them. They're doing it because they're following scripts that were developed by other people. They're living somebody else's life, basically. Yeah. And so you want to make sure that you're following the principles that are important to you so you live the life that's important to that's you. That's right. And so it is so, so important so that you can avoid just having empty successes. You know, it, it's kind of like he uses another example. You're, com you're climbing the ladder of success, but is that ladder leaning against the right wall? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. He's got a lot of great examples. Another one is somebody is chopping away with a machete going through the jungle, right? Are you in the right jungle or the wrong jungle? It's so, so important because we spend so much of our lives working to achieve goals. So it's important from the beginning to identify what is truly important to you. And so um, one of the things he talks about is being efficient versus being effective. You know, you can be efficient. You know, a lot of times people focus on becoming more productive, more efficient, right? But what is effective is related to what is, again, really, really important to you. That's so, so important. 
about building your business. What do you think about that, huh? You know, I think a lot of times we can get so busy or we think we're doing something. It was kind of like a person on a treadmill. You're just moving in place mm. and you're not really going anywhere. Mm. You know, so you have to check yourself and see, am I really doing something that's going to really matter? Mm, mm, you know, mm. is it really, is it going to really make a difference? <laughs> Short term or long term? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So you have to look at, you know, where is your ladder pointed? Is wow. it is it resting on the right wall? You know what? What is it leaning backwards or forwards? What? What's what? Where's your ladder pointed? You know, is it is it fame? Is it achievement related to business? Is it money? Is it relationships you have with your family? Is it making a difference in somebody else's life? Yeah, because there's no absolute right or wrong answer. Yeah, no, it's, there's not. It's all relative to what is important to you. That is right. Right. So one of the things he talks about is it's important to develop your own personal mission statement. And your own personal mission statement is Good. developed based on, again, what is important to you. People have a tendency to focus on one particular area of their lives. And so you have to see what are the the areas that are important to you as an individual. The ones and, that are going to matter the most, right? And you have to investigate who you are as an individual and what is truly, truly important to you. And then you have to be able to dif differentiate between management and leadership. Whoa, that's a huge one. Okay, because he says management is doing things right and leadership is doing the right things. Wow. I know a lot of people are great at, at leadership. They suck at management. <laughs> and some of the best salespeople I know are horrible at management. They can manage themselves, but they can't manage a group of people. Mm. Huge difference. Mm. And I think that's what comes into play when we're talking about management. We're talking about business, ownership, network marketers out there, you know, may be great at managing themselves. They can recruit all day long and they're great at managing and handling their own affairs. But when it goes to building that team, that's a whole different spectrum. Like, mm -hmm. not in debt. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, again, as um, you know, building a business as a network marketer is all about leadership. That's right. And people are going to want to commit to following you on a long-term basis if they can understand what your vision is. That that's true. You know, I they, gotta know who I'm following. Where they, are they going? They're gonna they're gonna want to make right. sure that you have a strong vision that encompasses more than just one thing. And we're just recruiting somebody. If your if your vision is recruit, 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 recruit. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> you might be able to twist people's arms and get them into your business. Beg and borrow. Beg and borrow. You know. But guilt them into signing up. <laughs> guilt them into signing up. But that's not leadership. Either. It's it's not no. leadership, and it's it's not, it's not sustainable. It's not going to get people to commit to that on and a long term. And stay in your business. And stay in your business. There's recruiting, and then there's leadership. Yes, yes, yes. Totally true. I've seen people that can recruit and throw bodies <laughs> like mud into the business all day long, but building a team, sustaining a team. And leading a team is a totally different beast. <laughs> hey, Nicole, thank you for sharing this video. And, you know, by the way, anybody that's, that's building you, a business, sweetheart. that's got a team, and they want to build up their team, we encourage you to go ahead and share this video. Again, we're here every Monday through Friday between the hours of 8 p.m. and, and 9, 9 p.m. And we're sharing experiences, our own personal experience. Yeah, we're telling you our pains and what we've done good <laughs> and bad. But we're also being trained by some of the top leaders right. that have already converted their businesses from the traditional methods to right. working online and leveraging the internet, leveraging Facebook with over 2.1 billion users on there. Billion. Absolutely, That's absolutely. Right. And so again, we just wanted to give a brief message uh, and uh, and uh, nod our heads to Stephen R. Covey's passed on now, but his his, his, his uh, strategies are so, so powerful. They're legendary, and they'll the stay with network marketers and business people for years. So we encourage awesome. you, as you 
uh, set along your, 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 your journey to success, keep in mind, begin with the end in mind. Oh, yeah. Do some soul searching and, and, and put pen to paper and really determine what your mission is. Try to get an understanding of what's important to you. And I encourage you to read the book, too, because he has an actual process that he develops yeah. to help people to understand what is really important to you. Because it's not it's not that easy just to know. Most people really don't it's know. It's putting it into practice. Because most people, they're, they're, they're driven by things. They're, they're driven by programs that have been placed into us. Since from, childhood. Since childhood, I mean, you know? I mean, I mean, you know, when I was in my, my first few years in college, I was totally directed towards going to law school and being a lawyer. Go figure. And look at me now, right? And, you know, why was I in that direction? That's because I was very much influenced by my parents who had a vision for me. And that vision was he's going to be a lawyer and then he's going to go into politics and all of this stuff, which when, when you're growing up, can sound really great. But the thing is, you have to learn who you are for yourself. He did go on to school, but he got his MBA from Harvard and he did what he wanted to do. Absolutely. Business. So now he's in business, but he's doing it his way. Absolutely. My way. Like Frank Sinatra <laughs> would say, he's doing it his way. Absolutely. His way. So, the, you know, the thing is, you know, again, no absolute right or wrong here. It's relative to what is important to you. Yeah. Do some, and you know, unfortunately so many people get into business and they forge ahead, ignorance on fire, and they're, they're, they're expending a lot of energy and they feel like they're building something, but they may be building momentum, but again. It's like being on a treadmill, sweetheart. Yeah. You ain't going nowhere. You're, on, you're running. You're on that treadmill, but you're not going anywhere. You know, are you on the right treadmill? <laughs> yeah, we're using that example a lot. Yeah. But, you know, the thing is, leadership all, always involves doing the right thing, being in the right area, having the right focus. And so with that, guys, that's our message for this evening. Yeah, um, Friday evening. At, right. And uh, like, like Nicole, if you like the information that we're providing... Please feel free to share it with your team, share it with your groups, share it with your friends. A lot of you out there check, call, check in with us all the time, every day, and we love it and we appreciate it. Hit us up with some comments, and if you have questions, ask us. We'll be more than we'll be more than you know uh, available for you. Yeah. To answer any of your questions, <laughs> and there's no dumb question. And by the way, if you are really looking to take your business online uh, and, and leverage the internet, right. uh, you may want to take advantage of our free gift, which is a free 10-day attraction marketing boot camp. It is fabulous. It is fabulous. Click and it, online. it is literally changing lives. It's online. Changing you, businesses. You're going to receive it. Saying. You're going to receive the information by email and it's absolutely free. Online. Uh, but it, it will definitely give you a new perspective on how to build your business by attracting people to you instead of chasing people down That's right. and getting dealing with that big R rejection. <laughs> you know what it, how, how many people really want rejection, right? Yeah, like we just wake up and say, I can't wait to talk to 10 people and ooh, get blown out. Wow. No. But with that, hope you guys are having a great weekend. If not, let's make it a great one. That's right. And remember, excellence always prevails.